Well, here we are walking in a winter wonderland. And uh, I saw a meme on Facebook about that Dr. Rick, the fake doctor on the commercials. Works with all the strange people. He says in the meme, it's snowing, it's January, nobody cares. Well, I care, cause I gotta deal with it. Well, I almost thought it'd be a good day to get the Super C out. And then I realized we got about 16 inches of snow and I don't feel like getting that thing stuck. No rear wheel weights, tires aren't loaded and I don't have tire chains on, so 756 it is. Maybe we'll get the seven fired up, get this place dug out and clean up the slops, nibble on the crumbs with the Super C. All right, you guys remember my wheel chalk? I'm glad I didn't put these on the M yet. I need a wheel chalk. There we go. Let's get on this thing and get it fired up. See if she'll start in, oh, I don't know. It's about 27 Fahrenheit. Regulators mount up. Whew. Cold seat. At least I don't have a rip in my pants this time. Well, we got a dead battery. And in order to change that, I'm going to have to get... I don't think that's the right size. That might be. No. No, sir. Why would it be the right size on the first grab? If I dig deep enough into this grab bag, I'll pull out some real good stuff. All right, that's going to be the size right there. I could. I got two options here. I can, I can bring out the jumper pack and jump it, or I can put it on trickle for a couple hours. I think that's the way to go. It ain't. It, like I say, it ain't dead dead, but it ain't rolling strong. And truthfully, that's just from not running it. I don't think I have to take this all the way off. Yeah, we got our first real dose of snow. Um, we, we've had snow, you know, but it wasn't, you know, 16 inches. I mean, before it was always four to six, maybe eight, but... Never over the foot mark. So things just got serious here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Nasty Pennsylvania. That'll do it. We'll just turn over the side there. Oh, that's fine. Uh, set her up on Yep. Yeah. You're loose. Don't touch the tank. Actually, let me get this one off before I even mess with the positive. of. You know, I haven't had to even touch this battery in about a year, so I, I was due. And uh, I don't know how long you guys get out of your batteries. I'm getting about a year and a half to two years, and then they're done. And I talked to the woman at the parts store, and she says, yeah, they don't make them like they used to. No, and they cover them as far as they need to before they'd actually have to pay. Pay to play. Come on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. All right. Thunderbirds are activated. Ow. Ooh. Got a little spark of Jawea there. Most people retire out of here. They, they go to Florida or whatever, they don't come back. And if they do, it's not till at least mid-April. You don't have to deal with this stuff. Don't. All right. Well, I've had that thing on fast charge for, oh, about an hour and a half, 40 amp. I'm comfortable with about two hours. Before the thing blows up I guess I don't know anything over 20 amps fast charge ish I bet we tighten this thing down and fires up it's my guess may not even put the cover back on just because I'm not going to be doing a lot of work on unflat surface. 
in the driveway. It's about as flat as it gets. Ow! That hurt. Called knuckle buster. As tight as I want it. Put this stuff over here. The box. You opened it? We came. What movie was that? I bet very few of you remember that stupid movie. All right. Set that there. We got that there. I'll take a bungee, one of them rubber bungees, and wrap around it. But yeah, we're working on a flat surface. I'll put the reason I really don't want to tight, you know, necessarily tighten everything down. That's going on trickle charge tonight. I don't know what, two amp, four amp, and I'll just let her trickle all night. All night. So let's go. Let's grow. Just to give you an optical up close here, this is the driveway proper. You know, and there's probably two or three inches under that. I'll leave some, but uh, yeah, this is the snow of the year so far. <laughs> Kinda sidewinded me a little bit. Little Sammy Winder. Didn't he play for the Denver Broncos 30 years ago, 40 years ago? I don't know. Look at that. Now, these rear skins are not loaded. Yeah, I don't have any weight on the back either, so. It's just snow. If it's snow, it's got to go. the blade all the way up touching the snow. So this is going to be lots of fun and stuff. Of course they got me plowed in down here. Years and years and years ago the township would come down over the hill and just go right around the circle drive and drive out. But a lot of things have changed over the years. Goes without saying. I'll be using a left brake, right brake a lot today. It's still coming down. It was supposed to snow till, oh, I don't know, 1.30ish, but pushing that now. We'll go low, I don't know, three. That handle's coming off there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Low three ski. We'll come out here and push it this way. Seven foot blade, two swipes, 14 feet. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get the Super C out. You see, clean up, eat the crumbs.
right you can see it's not really sticking to the blade that bad a little bit there but what I did was Matt Gregory sent me a message he says spray some Pam on there that you'll be surprised and uh, I am and actually in the center there that's where it got the most so I'll just put it on a little heavier next time keep the snow from sticking and anything else for that matter yeah you could see I got it down to the bare bones minimum and the bare bones actually is ice so that's not exactly what I would call a good thing because this is a hillside and right there's the mailbox and they come down with those little I don't know they're like chintzy chintzy little mail delivery Jeeps and uh, two-wheel drive I do believe and they don't weigh a thing they got little what appears to be 13 inch tires on them and uh, it just it's just a gruesome gruesome way to deliver the mail rurally uh, when I first moved back uh, they were delivering the mail in POVs a uh, little four-wheel drive I think the first guy had a little GMC Jimmy or something but it was four-wheel drive you know and he'd be able to get up this but they went back to the to the uh, the mail delivery Jeeps and it, it just it, it's just tough it really is um, somebody suggested in the last video or the last plowing snow plowing video that I need a lid on that or a cover on that nah I want them to be able to pull up and throw it in it's about good grief it's a foot and a half deep they throw it clear to the back there's no real weathering that goes on and a lot of people too they were like well why are you pulling the snow instead of pu turning the blade around and pushing it <clears throat> have you ever turned around in your seat for three or four hours pushing snow like that I want to see it I want to see it I really do that'd be the most idiotic way to to back blade snow there is on earth yeah but my dad showed me how to do it that way so it's gotta be right well I'm here to tell you it ain't right for me well what I want to do now is open this up from ground zero to where the top of the ridge is there it's about a foot and a half of snow so I'm just gonna go this way now and see how that works out for me yeah we'll creep on over through this driver down the four bottom tractor should be able to back blade some snow of course I should have put beet juice in these these aren't loaded and no rear wheel weights but still okay I'm still in a situation where I gotta hit this a few times
Well, there you go. Another excellent display of red power doing its thing. Only problem is with red power, you see that right there? Plowed it so good, got it down to the ice. So now I got a different issue. But make no mistake, you ain't doing that with green.